Hello, this is a presentation by Niha Anand, Araceli Enrique Andrade, Karen Fortune, Francisco Ucero Gonzalez, and Rosa Mack. The presentation is entitled Social Media and Building a School Community. Please ensure your sound is on to hear the audio narration. In this presentation, we will discuss the following. How social media has changed the traditional classroom, building bridges through school and community, developing a climate for partnership with parents, developing connections, and social virtual reality. There is a variety of different purposes of using social media in education. Traditional communication is only being used in the 21st century in a limited capacity. Social media is now the primary means of communication to students and parents, as well as keeping several others informed. Social media is now being used to connect the community so that all community members can be cognizant of what's taking place within the districts and schools. There are several strategies that can be used to develop connections and educate others by using social media. Social media has changed how we approach Social media allows for students, parents, educators, and community members to build bridges. Some schools are using Facebook and Twitter, but given how ubiquitous mobile phones are, group texts are probably the most essential. Working with social media could also be a good space to provide student opportunities to be active in skill development and community building. Creating high quality educational op opportunities for everyone is a community affair. When our children are going through a hard time or when schools are experiencing a lot of pressure to perform, it's so important that a foundation of community has been built. Although some parents have always guided their own children's learning, many parents have been disconnected from their children's schools and schooling. In children's education, schools must take leadership in building good programs and practices of partnership that reach out to and include all families. By using social media, educators are connecting online with colleagues around the world through blogs, Twitter, Twitter chats, Facebook groups, webinars, online conferences, and MOOCs. To exchange resources, support, and mentorship. Another key feature of using social media challenges educators to use connected technologies web tools, and apps to build a professional learning network that is relevant, flexible, dynamic, and personalized to support teachers with their current and future instructional needs. Many educators learn from one another via Twitter feeds, as well as discovering new popular sharing sites, such as Teachers Pay Teachers. By using social media, educators can share resources and connect in a multitude of ways. The parental benefits of schools using social media 
is that it can build and establish trust and be a framework for partnership between schools and parents and increased communication between the two. Parents can keep up to date with what their children are learning at school, join the teacher's Facebook group and view what their child may have achieved during the day. By being an active participant, parents become involved regularly in the classroom activities. Research shows that the use of social media in learning impacts achievement in a positive way. Increasingly, digital communication skills, including texting, tweeting, and Instagramming, must be mastered. Social media is one way to strengthen communication skills. Below are some of the ways social media can be used to create high levels of engagement. Explore the possibilities of collaborative learning environments and enjoy the measurably positive effects of the teaching and learning process. By increasing student engagement, students are more willing to connect when they can utilize technology to research information, share ideas, and produce final products. The use of social media tools helps students share information and communicate. There's an extensive amount of social media applications that can be used for education purposes. From Facebook to Twitter and WhatsApp, research consistently demonstrates how well social media has increased learning, built bridges, and created partnerships and connected schools, families, and communities. I was first introduced to the concept of virtual reality in social media when my cousin got a new video game, Dance Central from Xbox. The game played music and the participants held a joystick. They saw themselves on a TV screen and their movements were matched with the movements on the television. Lights on the floor of the TV told participants where to move to to learn a specific dance. Any number of people can play and they did not have to be in the same room or in the same state. Each simply needed to have the game. One can create a dance club in his own living room with only that person physically present. The same concept is applied in the creation of virtual learning environments in chemistry. The idea is to have an immersive and interactive environment in which students experience the world of molecules or atoms, or as is being considered in, in this post-COVID-19 era, a chemical lab.